Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to construct a transfer lining in MATLAB for image classification and object detection. So transfer lining is nothing but modify the structure or layer of the deep neural network which is already designed by someone. Here you can see the structure of the transfer lining or reuse pre-trained network. First of all, we have to load the pre-trained network. Then we have to modify the layers or replace some layers then again we have to train our network then predict the network and deploy the result so the transfer lining is nothing but we need to load any one of the pre-trained network then we can change or modify the layers then we can transfer it for our requirements so based upon our requirements we can change or modify the layers of the pre-trained network then we can develop a new neural network that is the best use of the transfer learning this is called the transfer neural network or transfer learning neural network so go to matlab tab then put the initial command clc clear all close up then go to the desktop create one folder then rename as deep transfer so, so we all know that if you want to construct any neural network means we need to have it some we need to have some training data today what type of data i am going i am going to take for training means today i am going to take some leaf data copy and paste it here you can find different types or different kind of leaves so i'm taking five different classes of leaves leaf type 1 2 3 4 5 so in this data set only i'm going to classify based upon transfer lining so after that which type of pre-trained network i am going to use means alexnet today i am going to use the alexnet as a pre-trained network so before that first we need to set our path matlab path matlab path is equal to go here and copy and then read the files full file of matlab pods comma data set this is the path of data set then we have to train our data so in order to train our data we have to take the image data store image data store of data comma include subfolders comma true label source comma folder names label source we are taking the label we are taking the label source as the name of the folder then count the labels all the labels train dot count each label each label okay now we have set the data set path and reading the data set images then we have to load the pre-trained networks 
load network here I am loading the AlexNet for our transfer learning so AlexNet so after that just save save the file to deep transfer as transfer then if you run the program change folder image data store store include ud So it's getting busy. Actually, it is loading the pre-trained network that is AlexNet. Yeah, it loaded. So pre-trained network that is AlexNet is already loaded. You can see here. So if you if you type the NET in command window, then enter means you can see the number of layers. Number of layers in the pre-trained network is 25. Then if you put that net dot lace means you can see the all the 25 layers. So as we all know that the deep neural network consists of the convolution layer, relief layer and pooling layer. Everything combined and they have designed one layer that is the AlexNet. Now we are seeing that 25 layers of the AlexNet. So this neural network only this new deep neural network only we are going to use for our new neural network as a transfer lining so then if you take the first layer only means net of net dot layers of one means you can only see the first layer that is the image input layer if you give it as two means you can see the second layer that is convolution 2d layer if you put it as n means you can see the last layer that is the classification output layer classification output layer. so now we have loaded the pre-trained networks now we have to design the layers layers equal to so the first layer we have to give the first layer because the first layer is the image input layer image input layer so we only know the uh, size of the image so that we have to provide the input layer so i am getting 480 480 643 so image input layer is nothing but first layer of the deep neural network so 480 and 640 and 3 is the row value column value on the number of colors of the image then the then we have to provide um, we need to include the pre-trained network that is 2 is to n minus 3 so 2 means first layer we have already given the first layer so we have to start with 2 2 is to n minus 3 finally why we are putting here n minus 3 means net dot layers if you see the all layers means up to 22 up to 20 that is drop out up to 23 layers we can taken for our neural network after that fully connected layer and the softmax layer and the classification layer fully connected layer they are you they were used to thousand fully connected layer why they are taking a thousand means they are going to classify the images in thousand classes so we are only going we are going to classify the images in five different classes as you see earlier like leaf type one two three four five 
so we have to replace this, this layer also so that is fully connected layer of file after that soft max layer after that classification layer so from the 2 to n minus 3 it is came from the pre-trained network after the fully connector layer and softmax layer and classification layer we change this for our requirements classification softmax layer classification layer okay now we have constructed the layers let's check it whether it's right or wrong just run the program yeah image e m a g e input first i is the small letter uh, image input input layer l is the capital letter then fully connected LAY or fully connected C is the cat letter C O N N E C T E D oh lot of mistake is there sorry yeah now we we are getting our layers image fully connected softmax classification okay then we need to train our network based upon this layer so first layer is our layer from second layer to n minus three uh, three layers is from the pre-trained network then fully connected layer is our layers we are taking we are going to classify the five classes that is why we are putting here it as five and softmax layer and the classification then we have to train our network training we have to first give you that training option training option o p t i o t r e i n i n g option of gradient steepest method s g d m comma max epox b p o s comma phi comma initial running learning with initial in LAN or AT, comma zero point zero zero one initial land rate. Okay, now we have provided the training option. Then we need to train it. So train is equal to training is equal to train network network of training data training data we are taking as a variable as train t r a n comma layers y r s layers comma option so we are right written the code for training also so let's run it whether it's working or not yeah training option training option is here we give you uh, tr a n a g options this is the yeah it's going well yeah it's training yeah finally we'll get the minimum patch accuracy is 100 so it's we are getting the 
hundred percentage accuracy for training so its training is completed now we want to go for testing testing our images testing so in order to testing before that we need to test our images so we have to collect some images from databases then I'm taking it from class 4 then I'm taking it from class 5 93 and 94 then just to paste it here outside of the photo then take on variable is equal to I am read of 21.jpg then we are going to classify how to see code to classify of training data comma our data so then figure comma showing our input I am show of a then title string of out so if you run the program now it's reading all the database images and then it's showing the layers then it's going for training and then yeah testing is completed we can find the type of the leaf that is leaf type 3 so if you want to show in, in the form of message box means message box of string of out now i am going the input as 93 93 i have taken from class 5 so again if you run means training is going on yeah leaf type 5 so it's it belongs to fifth class that is leaf type 5 if i give the 94 means again if you're running means this is also belongs to type 5 so let's check it yeah this is also came from leaf type 5 only so like that we can classify our images based upon transfer line so again i'm repeating just i'm taking some data sets then loading pre-trained network then modifying some some layers and we are converting based upon our required deep neural network then we are training the neural network then checking or classifying our neural network or testing our neural network finally you are getting the result so like that we can do it for other applications or other classes or other images also i hope you understand everything if any doubt means you can contact me and you can comment here also we are providing and paid and free support for all the engineering projects and other common related projects Anyway, thanks for watching. I will update the next video in terms of deep learning and how to provide the ground truth labeling for data set images. Okay, thanks for watching. This is our contact. If anything means you can contact us. Thank you. Thanks for watching.